Hey, what's going on? My name is Al, and today we are going to learn about retopologization. Made that word up. Topology, really quickly, inside of Mayum. So I'm obviously in an older version of Mayum in Maya 2020, but what I'm going to do, drop in a cube. I'm also going to drop in a cylinder, scale it down a little bit. Pro tip, if you hold J right before you rotate, it's actually going to snap into increments. But what I'm going to do is do a Boolean operation. So inside of my modeling toolkit on the right, I'm going to grab my cube first, hold shift, grab my cylinder, and then I'm going to use this Boolean operation. So I'm going to change the operation to difference. Bam, I have a hole and a cube. That's awesome, right? But what if I wanted to smooth this? When I press three on the keyboard, it turns into this olive belly button looking thing. Mainly that's because we have one giant ingon right here. Remember that an ingon is any face that has more than four sides. So if we go to edge mode, this has one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. This is one giant ingon, two, there's another ingon, and we've got the same thing on the other side. Uh, you know, I could retopologize this by hand. We have this really cool thing. And like I said, it's been out for a couple years now, but I still haven't seen a whole lot of people use it very often. So before we move on, if you're interested in free stuff, like who isn't? Come on, you want some free goodies. Check out my Gumroad. It's linked in the description below. All of my models, free or paid, can be used for commercial purposes or whatever purpose you want. I don't care. But check it out down below. All right, so I'm going to go up to Mesh. I'm going to press these little dots. That's actually going to rip off the window because I'm going to be bouncing back and forth here often to retopologize. So if I click it, by default, you know, there's still a hole in here. It's like trying to keep the shape. It's not terrible, but we've got more control over this. I don't know where I heard this or learned this. I'm almost positive that the one of the programmers who did ZRemesher and ZBrush, you know, years back also did this for Blender and they also did this for Maya. So I think this is the same functionality, which is really good, really solid. So let's undo that. Let's hit the option box for retopologize. And this time under pre-processing, I'm going to say preserve hard edges. Now I'm going to retopologize. Oh, look. Be there, not too bad. That's just keeping all those hard edges. I have a circle in the middle. That's wonderful. One more thing that we're gonna look at is options box again. We're gonna change the target face count. A lot more things you can do, but we're just gonna lower this. That's a little bit too many polys. Uh, let's do something like 200. Retopologize again. Okay, so our circle is still a little bit lower poly, but when I press three, that's working pretty good. I could add edge loops if I want. I would say 200 is a little too low for this to really get that circle how I want. Let's do that once more. Let's try 500, retopologize, bloop. There we go. Is it perfect? No, not at all. But for how quick this was, uh, this is really, really awesome. 